Hi, everybody. I'm late. Um, so this is story time with Zumi, and we are going to do a flannel story today called Grandmother's Aprons. But first, we will sing our hello song. You ready? Hello, my friends. Hello. Hello, my friends. Hello. Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Hello. And that was my dog barking hello to you all as well. Uh, let's see. So our story today is called Grandmother's Aprons. Um, I grew up saying Grandma and Grandpa or Kunta and Kun Yai. So um, I'm just going to say Grandma and Grandpa for this one. Um, and it is a story about some aprons. Do you know what an apron is? If you are doing something like cooking or um, painting or just working on a project that might make your clothes messy, you can put on an apron and that will cover up your clothes. I forgot to bring a sample um, so that your clothes will not get too dirty. And then your apron is just the dirty thing. Um, if you're painting, you might also wear a smock, but this story is about aprons. And it's a story about a little boy named John who was a little boy a very long time ago. And um, it's a fun story. Here we go. Oh, it's a bunch of stuff. Okay, let's see. Our story, like I said, is about John. And when he was a little boy, he would go visit his grandparents in the summertime. They lived on a farm in the country. And Grandma would always wear these nice white aprons. Does that look like a white apron? Um, and she wore them all the time. She had a few that were colored, but most of them were white. Uh, one day when it was raining outside and John was kind of grumpy because he wanted to play outside and he couldn't, he was complaining. Sometimes he complained and his grandma wanted him to have a fun day. So she took off her, her apron that was blue with yellow dots on it, maybe polka dots. And she took that apron and she draped it over the backs of two chairs and made a little house for him, like a little chair fort. Do you ever do that? And that day, on that rainy day, inside, John had lots of suns to play under, even though he wasn't outside. It was still fun for him. Well, the next day, John and Grandma went to go collect eggs from the chickens. Grandma held all the edges of the apron, the bottom part, together so it made kind of a basket because she didn't take her basket with her to get the eggs. So then she put all the eggs in her apron and she could carry them. Well, John got a little careless um, and he dropped one of the eggs in the apron and it cracked and it got yellow, yellow on the apron that was from the yolk and grandma said that's all right we'll wash it out but then when she tried to wash it out she could not get the yellow to come out that's okay grandma said we'll just go ahead and dye this apron yellow and you know what after she changed the color of the apron to yellow you could hardly see the egg stains anymore so the next day there was a walk with grandma and grandpa and John found some wild strawberries that were ready to be picked. Well, they didn't know they were going to find strawberries, so they hadn't brought a basket with them. Grandma said, oh, I sure wish I had something to carry those strawberries back. And John remembered the day before about using the apron as a basket. And he said, you have your apron. So she took her white apron and she put the strawberries in it just like she did the day before. And when they got home, they discovered that some spots on that white apron had turned pink. Well, she tried to wash them out and it wouldn't come out. But Grandma, who's a very reasonable and calm lady, just said, you know what? I've always wanted a pink apron. So she dyed the whole apron pink and now she had a pink apron in addition to the others. All right, so there was another day when they went for a picnic, but sometimes they forget things just like I do, and they forgot their old picnic blanket. 
Well, Grandma had her nice white apron, and she let John sit on it so he didn't have to sit on the wet grass. Guess what? There were grass stains on that apron when they got it home. Do you think Grandma fussed about it? Do you think she was upset? Or do you suppose she said, you know what? I think that a green apron might be nice. So there we go. I'm just going to layer it that way. And put that there. And there we see all our colors still. So she had a green apron. Well, next came the 4th of July and Grandpa was in the parade. He was marching in the parade and uh, John was really excited and they went and watched him, he and Grandma, from the crowd and John noticed that people were waving lots of flags but he didn't have one. Well, Grandma had put on her fancy red, white, and blue apron so she took it off and gave it to John to wave at Grandpa. And you know what? Grandpa had no trouble seeing them from the parade. Okay, next we have this color. Can you tell what that is here? It looks like black on the screen to me, but it's brown. This is the story of how Grandpa shined his shoes on Saturdays. And he asked John to get him a cloth to shine his shoes with. And John went to the kitchen to ask Grandma for one, but he could not find the one, the rag drawer that Grandma would normally have picked from. So he opened one, he saw a white cloth, and he thought, oh, well, there it is. And he grabbed it and he took it to Grandpa. Grandpa just took it, started shining his shoes. Well, I don't know if you know about shoe polish, but it is pretty sticky stuff and it will stain for sure. When Grandpa was done, Grandma came in the house and she said, what are you doing with my nice white apron? It had all these brown stains on it. Grandma was unhappy for a minute, but then she decided that's okay. A brown apron might be just fine. Got a couple more. Do you ever like to go running around barefoot in the summertime maybe? You kind of have to be careful that you don't step on something sharp. Well, John was running around barefoot out of Grandma and Grandpa's house, and he stepped on something sharp, and he cut his foot. Grandma took her apron off. It was a white one, and she wrapped his foot in it, and she carried him inside so he didn't have to walk on his hurt foot, and she cleaned it up, and she bandaged it up. Well, I don't know if you've ever gotten blood on your clothes, but sometimes that can be hard to get out. And Grandma thought, you know, a red apron might be the ticket today. So she dyed her apron red, and that was that. That's that right there. Okay, our final color is this one, which is, can you see? Blue. And this is the apron that Grandma was wearing when they took John home in a horse and buggy because I told you the story was from a long time ago. So it was nighttime. He had spent the whole day having fun with grandma and grandpa. And it was nighttime and they were taking him back home to his parents and he got cold. So grandma took off her nice going to town apron because that's where John lived in town. And she wrapped him up in it so that he would not be too cold. By the time he got home, he was warm and he fell asleep. And then they had to wake him up and take him inside. So this is all the colors that we saw. And you know, when John grew up, his grandma took all those aprons when they got to be kind of old and she couldn't use them anymore. She cut them into squares and she sewed them together and she made a colorful quilt and she gave it to John. And John could always remember the whole time that he was growing up about that summer when grandma dyed an apron green because he sat on it for a picnic or when he accidentally gave grandpa a rag or, or an apron instead of a rag to shine his shoes. He could always remember those stories when he had those that quilt with him. And then when he grew up and had his own kids and his own grandkids, he would put them in that blanket, just like his grandma put him in the blue apron. He would wrap them up and tell them all the stories from his summer with his grandparents. 
Do you remember what all the colors are? Let's go through them again. There's the white one, the blue with the yellow spots, the yellow one, the pink one, the brown one, the red, white, and blue one, the red one, and the plain blue one. See if you can remember what all those different squares were from, what those stories were. What I like about this story is the way that grandma would fix things or, or she wouldn't fuss about something if she could just dye it a different color or make it better. Things weren't necessarily ruined, they were different. And I like that way of thinking. I really appreciate that you joined me today for this story. It's one of my favorites and I don't get to tell it very often. So I hope you enjoyed it too and I will see you next week. Bye.